All right, guys, we're back. Let's continue on in the Temple of Merak. I mean, boy, did we have a quick entry to this DLC. I had not intended to do this, but we ended up getting teleported across the whole island, and now we're forced into this lengthy dungeon. Um, which I, it looks like it's probably the first thing you do in the DLC, right? They kind of throw you into it. I do want to explore more thoroughly later, but it is what it is. Um, I like the new the new uh, two-handed hammer that I have, but I don't like the fact that it uses up so much uh, charge. I wonder if there is a lot of magic potions. It loses a lot of charge for my soul gems. And I don't currently really have a way to recharge them. <clears throat> so, I'm laying off of that for now. I went back to this wind shear blade, which I really like. I guess we're going down. Derek I'm looking forward to your one-year anniversary. Yeah, I am too. Um, a lot has happened in the year that I've been full-time on YouTube. That's for sure. If you look at what was going on a year ago to now, look how different the streams are looking. Look at the different stuff we do now. I like all the improvements that have been made. I'm, I'm really enjoying the last year move to YouTube and everything that's come with it. And I hope you guys have too. And we're going to talk about that, of course, on a special event. That event is Saturday, May 14th. And it will be a marathon-style event. We're going to have... DSP reacts to Down the Rabbit Hole Dark Side Phil. We're going to have a Feasting with the King. We are going to have a late night gameplay session. What it will be, I'm not sure. Uh, Redemption Games has suggested, when I, since I'm doing WWE 2K, do some of that and maybe split it with Skyrim. So that's an idea. <clears throat> absolutely, Derek. Because I remember chat used to be completely unbearable. It was unbearable. You're absolutely correct. Uh, no, that's not me constantly smelling his fingers. That's a meme from someone else, so you can leave now. Goodbye. That's, that's, that's another content creator that has the meme that he smells his fingers. Sorry. <laughs> You're in the wrong place. You came to the wrong stream tonight. Oops. You got a little confused. I reacted to Down the Rabbit Hole Wings. I'm not Wings. Okay. Nothing there. Nope. She knows with allergies. Yeah, we'll we'll see, Derek. Maybe you know what? Now that I got an even better idea. Okay, how about this? Listen up. How about during the one year anniversary marathon, I do some WWE simulation matches with fantasy characters. I'll do like a, a fantasy battle royal for an hour with all these crazy zany characters fighting it out. <laughs> I think that would be pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> okay. Anyway, um, I think we're nearing the end. This looks pretty epic, what's coming up here. Look. What in the holy hell is that? I don't like the looks of this. This is pretty zany, crazy, over the top. We haven't really seen anything that looked like this so far in the game. Obviously, this is special for the DLC here. Look at this guy. Shit, I overshot. Yo, there's a lot of them. Oh, it's bad. There's a lot of them coming up. Look at them. Oh my god, all the stones fell. Oh. Where's the health bar? There we go. Nice. My one hand just keeps going up. It's great. Slice and dice. Another one. This is the overlord. I wish I could reach distance so I could use my spell, but the spell is splash damage. It's gonna hurt the followers. I don't want to do that. Nice. What ended up again? Okay. Oh my nose. Sorry, I'm, I'm bothered. My allergies are bothering me tonight. My nose is itching pretty bad right now. It's annoying. Go, get up, man. Go, go is not killable. He's completely invincible. He's a Creation Club follower that they made who's completely unique. He cannot die. So, okay. Oh my nose. Am I intending to play the OG Final Fantasy VII as Summer of Retro? No. I'm not making any commitments to anything lengthy right now. Right now, we're still playing Skyrim. And I might well be playing this till the end of the year, so I don't want to commit to any other lengthy games like this. The Stall Rim Battle Axe. That's new. 
Let's take the gold. Virulent Fear Poison. I'll skip that. Chitin Helmet of Major Destruction. That's new. We got all this new stuff. I think I'll take the helmet. It's only five. I like the look of the battle axe, but it worries 25, so I don't think I want to take it with me. As nice as it looks, nah. I'll take the helmet, though. So what the hell is this thing? It's supposed to be a big, a big totem, right? Look at it. If that's Marak, that's definitely some demon creature. Maybe a Daedra, I don't know. Freaking weird. Okay. Oh, I agree with you, Derek. He's a, he's a, he says he used to really love the simulation matches with the creative content. So it was some really awesome stuff over the years that I used to do. And it was sad that with WWE games declining every year, how it got worse and worse and it didn't even work in the last one I bought. I'll be happy to be doing it again. What did I find? Over the coals here. Holy shit. There are dark magics at work here. Read the black book. This book. Look at this freaking room. Well, they really did some unique stuff in this DLC, huh? All right, well, well, I guess that's our way out. Read the black book. Wait, what happened? What's going on? Oh, uh oh. Oh boy. The time comes soon when what? It's Maraca! <laughs> what the hell? Who are you to dare set? We've got Cthulhu-faced monsters. Look at these things. You are Dragonborn. Tentacle Fox. I can feel it. And yet... There's a mutant dragon right there. You have done with the unkilling of you dragons. You have no idea of the true power a Dragonborn can weave. He's a Dragonborn. This realm is beyond. You have no power here. Whoa. And it is only a matter of time before Soul's time is also mine. I already control the minds of his people. Damn. Soon they will finish building my temple, and I can return home. Send him back where he came from. He can await my arrival with the rest of Amriel. <laughs> They're blasting me. Ah, stop blasting me, you fucking bastards. Ow! He's a dragon right. Fucking shit, they won't stop blasting me. <laughs> Stereo blasting. Ow. Ow. You read the book and then... It seemed as though you were not really here. I could see you, but... Damn. Also, see through you. I'm not really sure I saw Marak on a dragon. Where? Where is he? Can we reach him? Can we kill him? Somehow reading the book took me to where he was. This is a dangerous thing, then. We should return to my village and show this to my father. Perhaps Storm can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. All right, I guess we're done with that for now. So Ellipsian says that's kind of the, the thing, the running thing of this DLC where... Oh, I got an achievement. The Temple of Merak. He says there's quite a few of these books to find in the DLC and they take you to different puzzle areas, each having a cool reward. That's neat. That's, co that's cool. I want to check that out. Um, hold on a second. Shout out to Prisoner who did a super chat and said, This is not a tip from Kevin. Well, thank you for calling that out. I appreciate that, Prisoner. And on top of that, Amzee just did a super chat and said, Will you ever replay Code Veronica? You know, I think I would like to someday. Um, I think that would be cool. It's been quite a while since I played it now, right? I don't remember exactly the year that I did. But I think that would be something nice to do. Maybe do, like, uh, you know, during downtime, do a few of the lesser played Resident Evil games. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Alright, we're gonna go this way. So we found the book, we got some plot, but we didn't really get anything out of the book, right? <laughs> Is 
Okay. Uh, we're all stuck. That's not good. Let's walk out. Whoa, look at the sky. What the hell? What is going on, man? There's some wild shit happening in this DLC. The sky is all messed up. Jeez. It's creeping me out. You see that green light? No. That comes from the windstorm. Where my people work against their will. Huh. They must be freed soon. All the people who were enslaved by this Maroc asshole. So Maroc is a dragonborn that apparently has incredible power. He's even saying that we could have that power. We're just kind of like noobs at it. And we don't understand the true power of the dragonborn. He apparently c controls Cthulhu looking monsters with tentacle faces. And the he rides dragons. Storm has used his magic to raise a barrier around it. Protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. Derek, I'm glad to hear you're liking AEW lately. I don't really want to talk about pro wrestling tonight. Just not in the mood. <clears throat> is there a reason I don't put the super chat amount that's donated? Yes. See, okay, this is an interesting to talk about since I moved to YouTube. Unlike on Twitch, on Twitch, what, what they do on Twitch, when someone cheers, it's all the same denomination. It's bits, okay? When someone... When someone does a super chat or super sticker here on YouTube, it's a con it's a contribution in your own local currency. If you're in the United States, it's US dollars. If you're in UK, it's pounds. If you're elsewhere in Europe, it's euros. And then there's things from all over the world. There's no way for me to tell the actual value of any super chat that's not American dollars. I don't know how to convert currency and know the answer there. So I, you know, I could do, how could I do top tip or top, or excuse me, how could I do top super chat if I don't know the value of the super chats coming through, right? They are color coded for value, but take a look at all these super chats. Um, they're pretty much like tonight, I got a bunch of greens and some blues. So the greens are all equal. Now, how do I tell what's the best green? I don't know, right? Because they're all the different, different currencies. So it wouldn't be fair. It just wouldn't be fair. I just like doing the last one because it allows me to give shout out to whoever just did a super chat and it gives a little bit more incentive possibly to super chat. Jim says, I like that system. Everyone, no matter how big their contribution, gets recognition on the leaderboard. And there you go. There you have it. Okay. Skis, no, I wouldn't even be able to do that. He says, you can type the amount and denomination. Sometimes, like for example, right now if I wanted to type that, I don't even know how would I type British pound. That's not on an American keyboard. We have dollar signs. We don't actually have the pound symbol. Yeah. I don't have a euro symbol. You know? All those different currencies, I don't have a symbol to even type that on my keyboard. So I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm just keeping it as it is. I'm just keeping it as it is. Let's not overcomplicate this, okay? What's going on? What is she doing? Uh-oh. Is she going to fight? What the hell's going on? Who's she fighting? An ice wraith. My name's not Allmaker, and I'm the one who protected you. <laughs> okay. Look at that, whoa. It's exhilarating. Perhaps it's because of my north blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. Finna and Nikolas? I have returned. There is yet hope. Freya, what news do you bring? It's too loud, I can't hear anything. No, but I have brought someone who has seen it. He has confirmed that Mira is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I fear that he would be so. But how is that possible? After all this time. I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm what has happened. Please lower the goddamn volume so I can hear myself think. Why are they making it so loud right now? So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Oh my god. Time is short. Tell me what you know. Marag is behind what's happening to your people. How do you know this? I read a book in Marak's temple, and he went somewhere, and went somewhere, and Marak was there. 
The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine. But if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Mirak did claim to be dragonborn. That is what the stories say. You are dragonborn as well, then. Perhaps you are connected. What does it mean if we're both dragonborn? I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the Windstone. You may be able to break the hold on all people there. And huh. free them from control. <sighs> Alright. So what do you know about Mirak? Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn. Yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order. Highly esteemed and very powerful. He's gotta be super then old at this he point. turned against them, becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. What do you mean, free your people from control? Some dark influence brings <clears throat> power over them forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night, but now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. Oh, here we go. Someone says the stream's mega boring. Do something funny already. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll remove you from the chat since you're so bored. Okay, why do I need to learn a word of power? <clears throat> Mirak is behind what is happening to our village. And so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. All right. That's weird. You hear that voice like going, oh, in the background. So, he gave us a mission. Okay, here we are. We're at Skull Village, which is to the northeast of where we just were. There's a windstone here. The Temple of... No. Learn a word of power at Sering's Watch to the north. Interesting. You know what I'd like to do, honestly? I'd like to go back to Raven Rock. We were exploring. We got teleported away when I slept. I'd like to keep exploring the town and see what's available there. Okay. So there's four sites I will need to destroy over the course of the DLC. I see. Got some glad to hear you're having a good time. Awesome. I'm having a good time as well. I hope everyone's having a chill time. Thanks to everyone watching. Thank you to those who've liked the stream 93 and climbing. Thanks to those who contributed via any way. Thank you so much. Like a reminder, we'll, I will wear a silly Viking hat if we raise $100 in tips. And we're well on our way, although we only got about 45 minutes left on tonight's stream. Just an FYI. If you want to see that hat, got to make it happen quickly. Okay? So, all right. I want to talk to people and find quests and stuff. Um, let's take a look around. I was talking to someone and I got teleported away. Morvain Manor? Who's at Morvain Manor? Sure, where are you? I heard, can I help you? Where is you? Where's the guard? I can't believe I've been stuck here this long. Oh, here's the guard. You can't help me. I want to talk to someone who's important. An NPC with a real name. Oh, you can't go there. It's locked. Never mind. Never mind. That was boring. Okay. 
Uh, ancestral tomb, but it's locked. Where can I go to talk to people and get missions? A temple, perhaps? Yes, Derek, it should be good for me to reminisce about my pe my history as a content creator when I react to my own down the rabbit hole video. It should. And like I said, I'm going to open up about stuff. I'm going to elaborate on stuff in the video. I'm going to, you know, admit the truth about certain things that have happened. It should be an insightful time for sure. The Shrine of Mafala. Shut up. Let's see what the... <laughs> Let's see what the Shrine of Mafala does. Fire Breath Shout deals 25% more damage. Is that it? My, that might be it. Fire within. Oh no, here it is. Prices are 10% better. What the heck? Perhaps it's because of Why Mojo Wolf is really enjoying the I Am Fish playthrough. Sounds time. good. Yeah, I can't wait to finish it uh, later on in the week. Malcolm says there's a book in a priest's bedroom. It gives a special 10th anniversary quest line. Oh, really? All right, we have to find the priest's bedroom. This is not the priest's bedroom. Wait, I said prices were 10% better. What's this one? Resist ten percent of magic. That's better. I'll keep that one. <clears throat> Give me down below. There's a book history of Raven Rock just sitting there. Blacksmith confessional. Ghosts of the tribunal. Kenra was a strange one. Always skulking about per perusing my wares, but never buying. I'd ask him if he wanted a sword, and he'd say, not today. I'd ask him if he fancy a set of armor, and he'd say, not today. Every day for a month, the same song and dance. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever, or so I thought. Then one day I open the shop, check my wares, I find a mistake in my shipment. Inside the crate is an odd blue gem lumped in with the usual uh, uh, iron and steel. Figuring it for a mistake, I was about to send it back, but then Kendra walks in the store. I give him the usual greeting. I ask him if he wants to buy some wares. Fully expecting him to say the words not today. To my surprise, he doesn't. Today he wants to buy. He doesn't want a sword or a shield. He wants this gem. He hands me coin, and I get a strange feeling in the pit of my stomach, like this is the last time I'm going to see him. So I ask him where he's headed, and he tells me that he's going to see a blacksmith. I'm not sure if that's a joke, seeing as I run the forge. So I ask him what smith. He tells me a dwarven one in Falbthars. My face goes white. Kenro says, you look like you've seen a ghost. I say to him, no, have you? And he smiles. If you're not aware, in the lore of the game, the elves are dead. They're all gone. They disappeared. So who the hell does he think he's going to talk to and find in their ruins? Search for the treasure of Hockneer Deathbrand. Well, that sounds exciting. I guess I don't need this asshole. I got a quest. I mean, if your name's Deathbrand, that's pretty fucking cool. I wish my name was fucking Deathbrand. Phil Deathbrand. You see? Immediately, that sounds way better than my real name, right? <laughs> yes, Derek, I am aware. In one week's time, part one of Down the Rabbit Hole Wings of Redemption, or I should say my reaction to Down the Rabbit Hole Wings of Redemption, has 14,000 views and over 600 likes so far on DSP Gaming. And that's cool. That definitely helps the channel a lot and uh i'm glad that it was so well received thank you to anyone who watched it or engaged with it that's part one the other parts all drop off and this is what's the funny part about youtube part one is interesting but i think the better stuff happens later on all right part one has fourteen thousand views and then after that it's like six thousand five thousand five thousand five thousand like that's it so why did everyone watch part one and not watch the rest of the thing <laughs> it doesn't make any sense the better stuff happens later but no, I can't watch more than one video, dude. That's way too much investment. Can't do that. Wow, okay. <clears throat> well, missed the best parts then. Skis TV says, if you want to start a really unique quest and get amazing boots, go slightly south of Raven Rock to the top of a cliff ledge and talk to someone named Rallis. Rallis. Rallis in the palace. Like down... Wait a minute, what? Time to die? What's going on? Oh, Jesus, there's dragons here? I didn't know there were dragons in the DLC. 
I thought we went to a new land. We went to the Morrowind place. I didn't know dragons were going to be showing up. Well, I stand corrected, I guess. Um, That's a dragon. It's ugly. It's glitching. Did you see that? It was like glitched out. It was like glitching around. Well, I have Dragon Rend if we need to use it. I guess we should, huh? What spell did I select by accident? I didn't mean to do that. Get him back here. Ah, oh, fuck. I should have used it right there. Where's he going? Take that, you son of a bitch. Where's he going? It's party time! Let's chop the dragon up. He cannot move. Wow, that sucks! He barely... He barely got for forced to the ground. That was so lame. Got him again. See, I'm not doing a lot of damage right now with the sword. It's gonna get better as I as I get one-handed up and I use the ability to level it. But I gotta freaking keep using it a lot. Did he hit me with his tail? I think he slapped me with his tail. He is, he's gonna be with his tail almost dead. Well, he's gonna die before I do. Take that shit. Nice. That worked well. Our first dragon kill in the Dragonborn DLC. Salt's high. Wait. I'm not absorbing it. What the heck? Can you not absorb dragon souls in the DLC? Well, that's new. It's not a huge deal. But it's still weird. I've always absorbed dragon souls. Huh. All right. Well, shout out to I Love K Zone, who did the dollar fifty and says, I love K Zone. Well, thank you to I Love K Zone. I'm glad to hear that you love K Zone. And I'm also glad that you support my streams. Thank you so much for that. All right. <clears throat> okay. Realm says, you gotta travel south along this coastline. Talk to the captain of the guard. Okay. Looks like there's a lot of areas to investigate in this. So we should walk around and maybe mark everything on the map. What's this one? Oh, I'm too low. I'm too low to trigger it. Fuck. Uh oh. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at these assholes. All right, hold on a second here. What kind of shouting do I want to use here? Oh, let's see. Faster weapon strikes. Fire breath. Oh, full frost. That's what I was using for a while. Armor and life force are weakened. You know what? I'm just going to go back to my old one. Wait, it didn't work? Whoa. Old Atadius farm. These are cool creatures. Yo, I like these. Oh, wow, they turn to ash when you kill them, too. Gold ore? I need that. I need the gold ore. Here's a new item, spawn ash. I Oh, I need the gold and silver ores, and I'm finding them. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, $27 tip from Plum Girl. Thank you so much. She says, 27 for my 27th birthday tomorrow. Happy early birthday. I'm so happy to hear that. I hope you have a good one. I'm sure you probably won't be on my streams tomorrow. Have a good birthday. Can I only request a celebratory bubble blow? You absolutely, positively can have a celebratory bubble blow. I'm being told by Malcolm, frost shouts are the best to use on these guys. Okay, I'm going to try that. Happy early birthday. Here you go. Haven't had one of those in a million years. Thank you, Plum Girl. And with that, 
We've hit the hundred dollar tips goal. And so I put on a stupid hat. Very nice. Now, that gets us to exactly a hundred. Thank you so much. The last and final tiered reward we have is if we by some chance hit 150. I'm not expecting that tonight, but if we do by chance, I will put on a silly vest uh, to end the night, okay? Awesome, thank you. And we hit 100 likes tonight as well. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right, let's grab the silver ore. So I need these. This is good. I need these ores. Gold and silver is exactly what I need um, to do my crafting. My crafting, my um, blacksmithing. Declaration of War? Rim Rock Stronghold, my calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and immediate cessation of all hostilities has been ignored numerous times. I have no choice but to assume your purpose on Solstheim is hostile. To treat Rim Rock Stronghold, enemy of the Empire, I warn you in an attempt to breach the Fort Frostmouth will be met with equal level of aggression. There's no name. Huh. Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it up this farm alive. What were those things? Yeah, the Wish ash creatures. Said, Some what of were the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them ash spawn. Me, good night, Derek. Have a good night. Called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. How did that bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Uh, all right, I guess I'll lend you a hand. Good. I can use all the help. I, I could actually do. use all Besides, the ore that they're dropping. I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind, and I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Yes, that's right, Derek. Tomorrow, Bugstacks DLC concluding. I hope to see you for that tomorrow night. Malcolm said, "This is the Imperial Guard General from 400 years ago." What? This guy? Very well. Where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. How could this be a guy from 400 years ago? Malcolm says, no, the note was from a guy 400 years ago. What? What, what do you think of Ash Spawn? No one knows, really. <clears throat> Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. Hmm. They started attacking the Bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. How often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the Bulwark at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. You suspect there's a motivation to their attacks? Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. Uh, why do you think the attacks are from the Atius farm? I don't. <laughs> All Excuse I know me. is Oof. that the Aspawn are coming from this direction, so this is as good a place to start as anywhere else. All good right. thing the farm's been abandoned for a long time. I'd hate to see what they would do to an unarmed farmer and his family. How long has the farm been abandoned? Jesus, is a lot of questions. Not sure. I was told it was an old imperial farm that was wiped out by the eruption of the Red Mountain. Not certain who lived there. It was already a pile of rubble when I arrived in Raven Rock. Okay. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. So wait, this is a quest now? Hold on. Menu's glitched. Okay. We've got all kinds of quests popping up. Search the Adius Clarm for food. Let's do this. This is cool. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to start stumbling upon a variety of content. And we've already done so. So this is excellent. This is the farm. We've got a cellar. And it requires a key. I don't have a key for it. But that could be important. Maybe a way to go later. Harvest the trauma roots. Something new. Yams, ash yams. Oh god. All these new items to fill my inventory and over encumber me. Do they want me to grab the note? I think it is. Yep. That was it. Give the note to the captain. Okay. The note, the declaration of war. Jade, alright. So have a good night, Jade. Thank you for chilling with me. He, says he likes it, but he's, he has to go to bed soon. He's tired. All right, Jade. Have a good night, man. Thanks for chilling. Thank you for your support earlier today on the Elden Ring stream. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I discovered a note on one of the Ash spawns. This is strange. 
The note says it's from General Falk's Carius. <laughs> but that's impossible. Okay, why? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth. But he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain <laughs> leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. What do you want me to do, Batty? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that what way. Are you a fucking revenant? I need you to head out to Fort Frost. <laughs> He's undead. And check it out. I'm gonna head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Crimson Tide, it's probably not a good idea to throw a PS5 controller and shatter it. Uh, very expensive. Okay. Be Kill careful. General Fall Carius. He just wants me to go murder the guy. Uh, where would that be? Wait, what's this? Skyrim? Well, it's to my east. You hear the music? Isn't that Marwin music? It is, isn't it? Dun 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 That's the Morrowind theme. Wow, they got the Morrowind theme in this. That's cool, man. Wow, I really like this DLC right now. It's it's like fan service for people who played Morrowind, which I did a few years ago. Dun 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 Uh so someone's saying to go north and there's someone to talk to, but I can't. It's blocked off. Wait, what happened to this dragon? Do you see it? Why is it red? It wasn't red before. Did it glitch? What the hell? Ew! The dragon's completely covered in blood. It didn't look like that before, did it? What the fuck? It came back alive? No, Ash Spark. What is going on right now? What the fuck? Yo, I thought it came back alive. I was like, what? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Whoa, that worked really well. Frost must be their weakness. Get that shit. God's another one. Freaks of nature never go away. It was the physics making it look alive. Yeah, it looked like it was coming back alive. Like a zombie fucking dragon. I was like, oh my god, here's a whole new aspect of shit I wasn't expecting. I've seen enough death Damn. Nah, it's dead. It's still dead. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to get up there. I want to get up there on that ridge. Apparently there's stuff up there. Maybe I gotta go all the way around. Maybe I gotta go all the way around. I agree, this has been a chill stream. I'm having fun. We have another fake D. Von Bernstein. There's a million of them now. Jim the Frog says some cuisine suggestions for Feasy with the King. Cajun, Caribbean, Vegetarian, Vegan, New England Seafood, Middle Eastern, British Fish and Chips. Do you have any of those in your area? Uh, Caribbean, yes, there's a restaurant that does Caribbean style dishes. Um... New England seafood, absolutely not, sadly. There's a, there is a place that does, it's called Duke's Chowder House. They used to be, now they're called Duke's Seafood. And they do like chowder and all kinds of fish, but they're very, very expensive. And I would not want to eat there unless I was going to eat in person because what the fuck is that? Because they're too expensive to get and like have delivered and then be cold food and nasty. So I wouldn't want to eat there. Um, Look at that thing. Ash, oh! Damn, I chopped it good. I chopped that thing into pieces. Ass hopper, j a ass hopper, ash hopper jelly. Fish and chips, no, nowhere, nowhere has fish and chips really. Cajun, yeah, so yeah. Sadly, a lot of those things are not too prominent out here in the Pacific Northwest. So what do we have right here? Uh oh, what's that noise? Did you hear that? Nothing. Colbjorn Barrow. Who the fuck are you? What's that noise? Oh shit, look at that. There's a big mountain with a bunch of plumes of smoke coming out of it. Maybe it's a, uh, a volcano. I would say it's dormant, but if there's plumes of smoke coming out of it, it ain't dormant, right? Raylus Sedaris. Just leave me be. What's the matter with you? With me? What's the matter with you? 
Sorry, I've just had a pork face cowards coming by to mock my efforts. Uh, it probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. Oh, yeah, mostly honest. The name's it's a good Rallis. thing to be. Rallis Sidaris, out of Morhold. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare <clears throat> antiquities. The relics of Arzador. Azadul? But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. What happened? You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. I love the Buried in the it's ash, like most other things on this blasted blood. island. Is she talking? Why is she talking? Shut up! Just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door? Excavating isn't exactly my special. Excavating, so it's Even not it excavated. Was, yeah, look, it's buried. Faster than you can dig. I'm gonna say this is the barrow. Barrows are supposed to be those rounded buildings where you go down the stairs, there's a, the door, and you go into a tomb. But this one's full of like dirt. Why not hire some miners out of Raven Rock? You think I've got that kind of money? No, I only get paid on delivery. <laughs> Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand septums on this. Takes money to make money. I got plenty of money. I could do it. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. All right, I got the money. Are you looking for a partner? On what? Earth? Are you... <clears throat> are you serious? <laughs> well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details of our arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. I've got more money do than I know what to do with in this game. Not in real life, but in this game. So, take it. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Okay. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word. Oh, so I'll get a letter or Roger something doing to tell me. With you, partner. Cool. I'll see you soon. All right. What's this? The journal of of him. He's his journal. Prospects look poor. I wonder if this will update as he as he does excavations here, right? Maybe it'll update with more stuff. All right. Um. I guess I'll just head a little bit north here. I'll see what I can find generally north. And then we could go over here and do this quest maybe by the end of the stream. We'll have to see. Oh, Slayer, thank you for the dollar for the tip. He said he sent a follow-up email. Earlier today, he had suggested some things that I can do for DSP Reacts. And he sent some more specifics tonight. Appreciate it. I'll have to give it a look. Thank you so much, Slayer. Good to have you uh, on the stream tonight. And thank you for the tip. And thanks for the help. I appreciate you, contrib you uh, contributing in other ways. You know, suggestions are very important. <clears throat> So if I come back here later, I'm being told you'll be able to do uh, investigate like the site. The diggers are going to excavate it for you, apparently. And Malcolm said this was the volcano on Morrowind that erupted and basically made all the dark elves evacuees. They had to leave as it was destroying the land, and then they, they came to Skyrim as refugees. That's that's sad, actually. It's fucked up. They actually, uh oh, it scared me. They actually say that uh, Mount Rainier here. In Washington State, which is a large mountain we have here, one day may actually erupt. Um, what is going on down there? Oh, look. Cold, cold cinder cake. What is going on down there? Jesus, fuck. They're destroying those ash dudes. Let's see what this cold cinder cave is. They're saying that one day Mount Rainier may explode, but it likely will be, be between 200 and 400 years from now. So I'll be long dead, so I won't care. Okay. Ooh, look how cool these caves look. Finally, caves that look different, right? All of Skyrim, all the caves look the same. This looks very different. What the fuck? Look what it is. It's the dudes. What are they called? The retching nets. These are netches. Now, these don't aggro, right? Unless you attack them, these things don't aggro to you. At least they didn't in Morrowind. So, just leave them alone. Walk through and leave them alone. They're cool. Look at that. 
Dude, they glow purple in this. You know what they remind me of? The jellyfish dudes from Mass Effect. Um, what were they called? I forgot that the name of that race. They're always talking about the Enkindlers. Skeever. The Hanar. That's what they're called, the Hanar. Hello, Dragonborn. Would you like to learn of the Enkindlers? No. I know about the Enkindlers. They were assholes. They basically were just like us. They didn't know shit. They learned from another previous race. Yet we thought they were smart. They're stupid. Just like us. See, I know more about the Enkindlers than the Hanar did. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why I'm getting so excited. The Bulwark Jail. What is this? They dropped Netch Jelly, which is an OP ingredient, though. I can't... See. It's so dark in here. Well, it was unique for about 10 seconds, and now we're back to stuff we've already seen. There's blood all over my blade from that skeever. Wait, what the fuck? What is... The hell? A dead end? But I hear wind. You hear that, right? Oh! Well, I can't get up there. This looks like a way to escape from another dungeon. Yup, that's exactly what it is. But it doesn't look like there's anything else here. It's, a, it's an escape from a different area. Alright, well. At least we've got it on the map now. we got it unlocked. We know it's there, but I don't need it. That kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, me too. I hope that, that Mass Effect 4 is a return to form. I mean, let's be honest with Jabba to... Did not do it, right? Do you remember Sandal from da Dragon Age? You mean Enchantment? Yes, I remember that. Who doesn't remember Sandal? <clears throat> I also remember Ladle. I also remember Shoehorn. And of course, my personal favorite Blinking Bicycle Light. <laughs> All my favorite characters, fantasy games. Okay, wait, is there another way to go? There is another way to go. I went that way, but I can check this out. Oh, where is this lead? This is different. Please let there be something here. Oh, what is this? What the hell? Oh, the ash spawns. Oh, <laughs> Well, they're unique enemies, that's for sure. I like that they've already added unique enemies to the to the DLC. Ebony ore, I need that. I need ebony, gold, and silver. Those are the three I'm looking for for my smithing. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. <laughs> oh, the heck. A skirmisher. Hold on a second here. I want to use magic, but they're in the way. Uh, I can't use magic. What does it look like I'm doing? Picking my ass? No, I'm fighting them. <laughs> Stop walking in front of me, you idiot. You're gonna get killed. Jeez, where'd they go? Wait a minute, where did they go? They're dead? Where the fuck did their bodies go? I wanted to loot the, the ore. Uh, I think they just disappeared. Look. They got zapped into fucking Never Never Land. I don't see any ashes, right? They're, yeah, they're dead. They just vanished. Straight up gone. Anyway, uh, what is this? This is Heartstone Deposit. Now, if you remember, we had found at the Vampire Manor that we now own, back in Skyrim, there was a machine that would make, was it was it enchanting like a rod or something? Like, was it enchanting a staff? But it needed a Heartstone to do so. So I guess this is where we get Heartstones from. This DLC, huh? Okay. 
Well, I don't really care about that for now, but it's nice to know that it's there. All right, we've got gold. We've got Enchanter's Filter. And a bunch of junk. Great. Well, there wasn't much here, was there? Not really. Okay. Why are you telling me that you're a felon, Boglin? Why do I care? <laughs> Why would I give a shit if you were or not? I know if you sell jewelry, you can sell it for a lot of money. I I'm not in need of money. I have ridiculous amounts of money, so I don't need that. If I needed money, I would care. Okay. Well, that's that. Let's see what's further this way. We're almost out of time for the stream, so I think what we'll do is we'll just keep going north and investigate a little bit more. Um, next time around, we'll just keep it up. This is fun. It's fun being in a new region. New music from Morrowind, right? We've got unique climate that we didn't see <clears throat> when I was playing Skyrim. We're doing all kinds of fun new stuff. This is excellent. Oh, shit. This is excellent. I was going to say until these cultists showed up. Oh! Kaki! Suck it! Get back here, you bitch! Can't fucking run! He healed himself! <laughs> uh, I love that death that death nail. Uh, uh. Ah, I was eating your friend. How dare you strike me? Who was that? Where is he? You? You're hiding in the fucking bushes, you little puss? Take this! He absorbed it with a shield! Why is your magic shield so powerful? Absorbing all my attacks. Absorb this. Ah! Jesus! Oh my god, it's a duel to the dead. Look at this. <laughs> like an action, a crazy action scene from a movie. Die! Did I level up? I did, finally. Scroll of a Guardian Circle. <clears throat> Excuse me. That it? That's it. So. I'll go with Magicka. So. My one hand now. Oh, shit! Master! Reach level 50! Very nice. That used to be the max level, but then they increased it for the DLCs. So all my one-handed perks have reset. I should start doing these again. So let's go right into one-handed weapons. We'll do 20% more damage. Cool. <clears throat> Franklin, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. All right. We're almost out of time for tonight, everyone. Last chance if you have any questions, anything to talk about, any contributions, anything. Now would be the chance because I've only got like five more minutes left. I'm just going to walk around a little bit more until we run out of time here. It says there's a cave. Ashfall te Ashfall's Tear. Okay. The stream did fly by. It always does, man. These chill streams fly by. Whenever, whenever we're having a lot of fun, it goes by like this. Fast as hell. You know, earlier today, I was playing Elden Ring, and I was getting my ass handed to me. And I swear to God, it feels like I only played for an hour. And the stream was over, and I'm like, what? Like, what happened? Like, we're done? We're seriously done? And everyone's like, yeah, it's time's up. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, are you kidding? It's another dead end. It's a complete dead end. Look. I don't know. It looks like an, another exit from somewhere else, but I can't go in here. So it's a, a wasted cave. <clears throat> okay. Have a good night, Guts. Oh, here's the, here's the Marvel music. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I love the Marwin music. <clears throat> That's right, Jim. He says, when you're a kid, time always goes by really slow. When you're an adult, it goes by fast. And here's why. When you're a kid... You want to do a bunch of stuff, right? Man, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. But you're a kid. You don't have money. You don't have a way to get around to do anything. So you just sit around on your butt scratching it, watching TV and doing crap that you don't want to do. When you're an adult, 
Now you can do the stuff you want to do, but it makes time fly by faster. Right? That's exactly how it goes, man. That's life. What is this? Emerald Geodes. I don't have a pickaxe. Emerald Geode. Dun 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 dun. Do 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 do. Oh, where is this? Blood Skull Barrow. <coughs> Excuse me. I missed completely. I didn't miss that one. I like that nice golden armor. body not the stupid trauma root oh my god they really won't let me look it's glitched it's fucked up search his body no don't feed the Open, huh? Let's see about that. Damn, it's a lot of blood. Blood squirting out of every orifice. Iron boots, completely worthless. How nice. Doom, 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 doom. All the Morrowind music is so nice. It's relaxing. I would play it twice. If I had the chance, do do do. Grab this and this. La la la. Weaver is so dead. Grab the gold. Cooking pot. Another chitin helmet. I have the chitin helmet. Oh, a chitin boots? The only way one, I'll grab them. Maybe I could do a whole chitin armor set. Maybe have some smoked salmon there or something. <clears throat> Call my anniversary marathon DSP's homecoming? Yeah, I mean, homecoming makes you sound like I'm actually, like, like, I'm going back to Connecticut or something. I don't know. <laughs> a Dunmer outfit. Flowing. Right now, I'm calling it the one-year return to YouTube anniversary. Because it kind of makes sense. One year you've returned to YouTube, right? I've been here a whole year. I think that makes sense. Okay. Actually, yeah, actually, homecoming makes me sound like I'm going back to the East Coast where I used to live. Gold and a shitty elven helmet. I don't want. Great. A scroll? No. Look, Marin. I'm not arguing that these towers are falling to pieces, but I think you're exaggerating about the planks falling out. Oh, like that. Looks like he, he fell and died or something. Fell through the plank and died. Poor guy. Okay. So I think we need to cross. Blood Skull Barrow. Alright. This is likely where we will uh, end off for tonight, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do a hard save. Good progress tonight. Good, A good two initial first hours of Skyrim. What's up, Jachirity? Skyrim was great tonight. Thanks for asking. It was really fun. Two initial hours of the Dragonborn DLC in Tholstheim. And, uh, you know, a good variety of stuff. We did some major story. Learned about Merak. And then we um, did some side stuff. And it's good. It's fun. I like that we're exploring and we're finding all this optional stuff to do. It's very, very fun. So, ladies and gentlemen... Thank you for a great evening stream of Skyrim. I hope you had fun. Thanks to everyone. Wow, like, really good support tonight. Engagement was there. Fun conversation. So, you know, other kinds of support. Tips. Everything was good, right? 
Thank you guys so much. Until next time. Now, when will next time be? Thinking it out, I think it's going to be Wednesday night. Yes, Wednesday night is the next Skyrim stream, just so everybody knows. Okay? Okay? Because <laughs> I'm trying to think. Because we're finishing Bug Snacks tomorrow. I'm off on Tuesday. So Wednesday night would be the first opportunity where I'd get to play this again. Yeah. No, wait. I'm finishing I Am Fish, aren't I? Hold on, now I'm really confused. No, I'm finishing... I'm fin That's right. I'm finishing Bug Snacks tomorrow. I'm finishing I Am Fish on Wednesday. So Skyrim is Thursday. Skyrim is Thursday. That's what... I knew something felt wrong in my head. Alright. For those watching on stream, Thursday. The continuation. For those watching on YouTube, you don't give a crap. And you probably stopped watching by now. Shout out to Griffin the White Falcon. Excuse me. Griffith the White Falcon. Who just tipped me a dollar fifty? Thank you to Griffith. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, everyone. Again, great stream tonight. I hope you all had a good time with me. Thanks for chilling. Until next time. All right.